Ferrari. Just one word that sends a tingle of excitement down the spine of every car enthusiast. We lust after the sensuous looks and yearn to get behind the wheel. I would die for you, I would die for you, I've been dying just to feel you by my side. But what exactly is the magic behind that evocative prancing horse that makes Ferrari so special? Well, to help try and explain it to you, we've come here to the Mugello circuit nestling in the heart of the Tuscany countryside for a very special occasion. It's a sort of Ferrari fest, an annual celebration of all things Ferrari. Only this year, it's even more special. Michael Schumacher is the race winner. Victory number nine, title number two for car number three. Ferrari have done the double. First time since 1979, Drivers' Championship, Constructors' Championship. The Mugello weekend was the perfect way to celebrate the World Championship success, with the main event on the track, the world final of the Ferrari 360 Challenge, a one-make series run in four separate groups around the globe. The paddock was bursting at the seams with Ferrari 360s and 355s that were holding their own world final. 120 cars, each one a dream of its own. And if all that made you a bit light-headed, there was no seeking refuge in the car park because that was full of Ferraris too. A sea of red, yellow and blue. Four 5.6s, 550s, Testarossas, F40s, as far as the eye could see. A second-hand car park worth a hundred million pounds. But the racing wasn't just for modern machinery. The event was called Tutti la Ferrari al Nugello, which loosely translates into, if it's a Ferrari, it's here. A few Maseratis were allowed in as well, but it seemed every Ferrari model since they began back in 1947 was here and racing. Almost every Ferrari fan, or Tifosi as they're known, seemed to be here as well, reveling in their moment of glory. Crazy. I'm crazy for feeling I think that uh, Ferrari represents Italy in the world. So it's kind of a dream. The most beautiful thing in Italy. George Sheltis, uh, Nicky Lauda, Nicky Lauda, Jody Scherter, Mika Schumacher! My God, Mika Schumacher! Whilst most Tifosi can only watch and dream, some are even lucky enough to get paid to pursue their obsession. Uh, Ferrari is uh, the most important and most known team all around the world. So this is something that you feel when you are uh, all, on uh, all the tracks, you see all the flags, all the supporters are always with us. So this is something that you will feel and it's a big responsibility for us. So it's really something really, really special. When I was a baby, as a child, I was looking to the red Ferrari as a dream. And I have to say I'm very lucky and I have to be proud that I'm part of this team. It's this Italian passion that's at the heart of Ferrari folklore. Stylish and emotional like their cars, they wear their hearts on their sleeves and openly display their feelings for the machines they love. Where else would a company boss get this sort of reception? Luca de Montezemolo applauded the crowd, they applauded him, and went ballistic when Michael Schumacher appeared, joined by teammate Rubens Barrichello and test driver Luca Bador. Even the Italian Air Force turned red for the day. If 
if you're Italian, it just doesn't get any better than this. Forza Ferrari, as they say in Italy. But I'm probably the luckiest Tifosi of them all, because I'm here on the track at Mugello about to race a Ferrari in the world finals of the 360 Modena Challenge. Tune in next week to see how I'm about to get on.